So good afternoon. I'm going to show you how to use Google Maps. And this is a, a great way of adding locations or creating your own custom maps. And so I created a map for the class to work with called Things to Do in and Around Ottawa. And I've added a place already called Frank's Catering and Baked Goods. So if I zoom out and I can just pressing those little minus button, you'll see minus, minus, minus. So I'm, I'm backing out and you'll see this is Ottawa. You might actually be really, really, really backed out. You might be like, oh, I'm at the, the country level. But notice how even at the country level, you can see my beautiful little um, uh, point of interest marker for Frank's butter tarts. And I actually think they are the world's greatest butter tarts. I might be a little bit biased, but I think they're delicious. So I'm going to zoom in. And you're saying, Mr. Charles, how do we, how do we uh, mark a location on this wonderful map that you shared with us that we can share with uh, our classmates and uh, give us ideas of things to do or places to eat. So here is Frank's and it is just right by the um, Metro and uh, at Green Bank and Hunt Club across this, there's uh, like a gas station right here. But anyway, it's really, it's really good, great place. And I put a little marker there. Now I was talking to Miss Vanessa earlier and she said there's a really good um, hot dog place. And I'm going to see if I can find it here. I'm going to zoom out. She said it was by Rito Falls. So I'm going to go all the way over here. And it's, I think it was John's Tavern. And I'm going to show you how we can create, oh, there, Tavern on the Falls. So she, even though there's a marker there, we can add our own marker. And I'm going to add a marker. So I'm going to click up here where it says add marker. I'm going to add the marker right here. And I'm going to call it uh, Tavern on the Falls Hot Dogs. Because Miss Vanessa, there was amazing hot dogs here. Beautiful views of the Rito Falls. And some really interesting and delicious hot dogs. Now, you could just save it like that. And I'm just going to save it like that for now. And some people are like, oh, that's that's okay. That's interesting. But you can actually also change the color. So I'm going to change the style. And hot dog, what color should I use for hot dog? Maybe kind of more of a orangey or red. Meat color. Yeah, let's do let's do kind of like an orangey meat color, also, I guess. Girls? Yes. Does it have to be in Ottawa, or can it be in the whole of Ontario? I would say I would say I was thinking about that. Probably like an hour to an hour and a half away from Ottawa is as far as you want to go. Um, because there's really like nothing crazy to do. Because like, it, like not crazy, but like, you know. If well, we're actually, to, like Ontario, we could just go to like Niagara Falls. Or, like, but this, actually, let's like, let's we we'll talk about that in just a second, but. Um, let me just put and look. You can choose the icon. So here, for for if it's a like a drinks or a fancier place, and here I'm just going to put the um, sign for food. So and look, there's like art ones, and so you can choose different icons for this too. So now we have our little tavern on fall, and that's all you have to do. You're going to make your Flipgrid video, and then afterwards come on this map and put um, your recommendation. And actually, I'm going to edit this just so we know it's. And Miss Vanessa. So Miss Miss Vanessa's um, that's her recommendation. And I'm gonna go back to world's greatest butter tarts. And where'd my butter tarts go? Oh, they're there. And I'm gonna just edit that just so you know who's who's giving the recommendation. So and actually you can add pictures. So actually let's go back to I'm gonna say Mr. Charles. And I see there's a question. And uh, the question is, what's your question? Just so I don't have to change screens. Question? Question? Wait, me, Miss Charles? I don't know. Someone raised their hand, I think. I raised my hand. Okay, so what's your, what's your question, my friend? I mean, yeah. Uh, so if everyone has access to this, doesn't that mean that other people can edit other people's recommendations? Yes, in theory, but I'm hoping that doesn't happen because that's very frustrating. And then when I look at the review history and I see someone's being not very nice it upsets me and then i get you know i may choose to use less pictures of them in the leaving ceremony or Charles. maybe i make those comments on the report cards that they're not being collaborative lots of things we don't want to do leo question how many kids how many um uh landmark things do you have to do just one 
Just just one. So actually, I wanted to, I wanted to show do, you this. Sorry, go ahead. Are we gonna do like a uh, Flipgrid still? Or what? Yeah, you're yeah. So you're doing the Flipgrid first, talking about the mm -hmm. place that's interesting to go. And I I forgot to show you, you can add images, right? So I added an image of the butter tart last time. But you can go to uh, your own photos or like what I did is I think you can you can search. Um, so I'm going to search Tavern on the Falls and see if there's Tavern on the Falls hot dogs. And just see if there's a picture. And no, oh, there. Look at that. Beautiful. So I'm going to insert that picture. Those are so extra. But probably. So, <laughs> so that's pretty cool, though, right? Like you can add pictures and it just actually makes your your map that much more interesting. So. Mm -hmm. So that looks like a place that I would visit if I'm down in that area because Miss Vanessa mm -hmm. recommended it. And there's some really great recommendations that people have. Now, I don't want you to think it's got to be fancy or it's got to be expensive. I'm going to show you a recommendation that I have that would be really quick and easy. Um, maybe not this time of year, but for example, if I wanted to say, uh, I'm actually, I probably won't say it, but um, let's go to Barhaven here and we're going to go down here. And so some of you are like, oh, I don't, I don't know um, what would be a, a good thing to do. Well, it could be something as simple as this. You could say, oh, look, you know what's really interesting is if we go here, there's, I'm going to put a marker here. And what's here in the winter? Uh, this, that looks like, that looks like our school. Yeah. No, so. Not. So this I here. Think that's the parking lot from our school. Oh, you mean the place that we went sledding? Yeah, this this the sliding ravine, right? Mr. So, Charles. So we could say this is a, a fun fun place to go in the winter for we sledding and catching some air off of snow bumps. Okay. Um, oh, snow ramps. There we go. Yeah, it could be something as simple as that, right? And I'm gonna choose the color, make it a little bit lighter, right? So because it's Miss Charles. Yes. I was thinking for my food grid to have Mount Cascade, but that's more on the Quebec side, right? Yeah, but you could do that. I said in and around Ottawa, so Mount Cascade is a beautiful place to go. So you could definitely do that. And so you see, there's things to do here, and I can change. I can change up what it is, but there might be more icons. Is there more icons? Oh, look at that. Whole bunch. So it's kind of like skiing, isn't it? So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put skiing here because I don't see a sled. Oh, there's a sledding one. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. There we go. So we have our little sledding icon. Okay. Perfect. So I can actually Charles. I'm gonna edit the name. I don't like sliding. I like sledding. So sledding ravine. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, Ben. Oh, uh, this is kind of off topic, but did um did you see like summer near? Like in Barhaven, somebody had like a fire in their attic. I did hear about that. I was actually um, right near oh, yeah. right near the That's school so on Blackleaf, I think. Yeah. Um, so right the, we, could, we could see the smoke from our house. Yeah, that's crazy. That was right beside the roundabout to, uh, to the way the school, right? Not the, it was the, like the other one. It so was a barn that burned down. <laughs> so you know what's fun is that we're still recording this. So I'm going to. So that's how you use Google Maps and. Oh. Um, you can add your points of interest just like I did. It's open to everyone in the class and uh, Miss McFarland as well. I added you because I need to hear your interesting places to go. Um, so, and you don't have to just do one. You can do more than one. So in your video, if you want to do more than one, you can. If you want to just do one, you can do that too. So it's totally up to you. But I thought this would be kind of a fun idea for people to try and to play with. And we'll see how many different ideas we can get.